O'Brien. Welcome, Welcome folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, it is not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 20, NASDAQ off 2, S&P's off 2, gold contract down $28.40, trading at 19.90 dollars an ounce. We have silver down 29 cents, $25.30 an ounce, late sweet crude up 37 cents, $77.74 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note. Down five ticks, trading 114.15, the 30 year off 13 at 129.29, and King Dollar. King Dollar down nine ticks, trading 101.831, the Euro is at 109, the Yen is at 124, and the British Pound is at one. The British Pound is at uh, 120, uh, the Yen's at 134, the British Pound is at 124 to one US dollar. Our phone Our number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that we have a high volume intraday low, folks, that I expect we're going to go after coming into this close. So you take a look at this. We've had a really cool trading range out here today. It means 20 points up and down, left and right. Uh, but what's hanging out here in spades, okay, you can see that bar. That bar is a high volume low at 41.35. Uh, and what you have right here, let me pull this out of the way. If you're watching Tiger TV, see the expansion of volume already? What time is it? So that's, 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 it's nine, nine minutes into this bar, but you can see the expansion of volume already. The expansion there on this bar, 29,000 contracts versus making a high out here at 17,000, okay? So we take the, the top of that bar. Let me see the top of that bar. Okay, so okay, this so is cool. This is, oh, this is interesting. Let me do this. This is uh, oh, it's getting very tricky. So see the top of this bar is 20, no, 4149. And we just got down to 4147, and it did reject it. Uh, and we'll see where this shakes out. I, my take is that we're going to go down to the bottom of the bar, but... You know, you hear me talk about this plenty of times. So that, the, but when you're looking at the bars, you always, you always have to be cognizant of the top of the bars, too. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, we'll see where this ends up going. My take is we're going to go to the bottom. Of this it, Because of the fact of the matter is that's the, ra the range that we've been in all day. Yet. You know, when a, when a pop top side, you can see what ends up happening. You, you've, the volume died in the vine. Gold. Gold. Gold, contract gold contract out here. We're going to be doing over 200,000 contracts. And this is all about the U.S. dollar, by the way. You take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract's coming down as 200,000 contracts right now. And if we just bring this back a little. And, you know, your point three eight two is what? 1974, your 5 is 1946. Those, those are your targets. That's the bottom line. And it's all about here. I mean, the, the dollar is running the whole game out here, which is pretty cool. Because it makes, when you have correlations, folks, it's much easier when you have correlation. Now, it looks like the dollar hasn't done anything. And what's intriguing about this, that it hasn't moved that much. But you would you want to take into consideration, if you only get this small movement like this, and the S&P can go up and down 20 points, guess what? <laughs> Uh, if we get the movement that I think we're going to get, you're going to have a lower markets. Um, you know, I suspect, I, I expect lower markets coming as a close today, but I'm talking about next week really lower markets. Uh, and you can see, we got a huge expansion up here this morning, and that expense on the dollar went from a price point of the 101 all the way up to 102.19. And then if you take a look at that, that's when the flip this around that's when the S&P that's the S&P that's where the S&P has this high volume low and what's happening right now is that the dollar is getting juice coming into the close you know so we'll see where this shakes out and of course there is this that's when the S&P 
went from the 4158 down into the 4135 in, in 20 minutes. No, 10 minutes. Two 10 minute bars. Two 10 minute bars did it. You know. So I expect we're going to be down into those levels. We go inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Amazon's up 3%. You got the. Uh, what is that? Yeah, CSX, the train company, up 2.9%. Gilead's up 2. CrowdStrike is up 1. Taken away from it. Airbnb's down 3. You get uh, Zoom Communications off 2.8. Uh, Walgreens Boots. No, no, Warner Brothers is down uh, 2. And JD.com is off 2%. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point wise out here, we have uh, Procter & Gamble. Uh, Putting 34, 34 positive, positive points, points in, Goldman 16, uh, Home Depot 10, 10 taken away from it. United, United Health, Health minus 30, minus Boeing minus 19, 19 Caterpillar minus 18. 18. Uh, we, go uh, we go over to Procter & Gamble, and uh, they come out with their numbers. Now, it's so intriguing, man. There's no doubt. You know, they, they, came out, they come out with decent numbers, man, because they went up on their product line and buy a lot of their products, man. I mean, they went up on their product line by 10%. You know, that's how they made their money, because what happened, the volumes were down. And what's hitting, you know, companies like this is that, you know, when we go into all, our, all these stores, um, we're, I, we're, you know, like we go into Publix. I, we shop Publix all the time. And what is happening in the, you know, the aisles of Publix, it's turned into all Publix products. I mean, it started out years ago, you know, they would, you know, follow... They take, they take products, products that they were selling a lot of, and then they, they, they start branding them themselves. And I, I'm sure for in, in the context of the consumers, meaning you know, the manufacturers, that is a big challenge, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, but in, in Procter & Gamble's case, they went from having 165 products down to 65. And they got rid of everything that was lagging and uh, needless to say, um, you know, they're concentrated on everything that they not only make a lot of money, sell a lot. And, you know, bottom line, they took in 20 billion in 90 days, they brought a dollar 37 to the bottom line, and on top of that, they're still growing, which is a mind blow. In the United States, they're still growing like 2.75% a year. Internationally, they're growing only by 1%. Now, that being said, um, you can see these numbers on the third, on the, on the uh, they're, they're growing. Let's see. What is the biggest one? Fabric and home care. And then health care. That's the big numbers. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading down 25. NASDAQ is off 5. S&P is off 3.5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.